if you if you check from from what i'm showing you on the camera you see that this these bags these sandbags are being positioned in steps in steps it's not like they are straight because if you put them in step it will not work because you have to be in step you have this first step you have the second step i just hope i don't fall inside you have the third the, the fourth step down there and there's still another sandbag down you get so that is how you arrange the bags you don't just dig for digging sake you arrange the bags very well you arrange the bags very well in steps if you don't arrange them in steps just know that the pond will not be able to stand very well if you if you want to construct a good etin pond like a very good one the one that is going to stand the test of time you have to understand some basic things you have to understand some basic things about the construction of etin ponds you understand i will be using this video to show you in details everything that you need to know everything you need to know i have my engineer on ground the person that is um, working on the pond so i'll be using this one to give you guys a little tutorial on how to construct your own earthen pond on how to construct your own earthen pond All these all these bags here have been sand filled from the pond. That is what they will be using to wedge the sides of the pond. That's what they'll be using to wedge the side of the pond. What kind of bag is this again? Uh, engineer, yeah. what kind of bag is this again? Um, POP chemical bag. POP chemical bag. Yeah. So um okay using can we use cement bag as well? Uh, no 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 that is not advisable. It is not advisable. No, yes, that spoils so fast. Okay, the bag, the the POP this POP bag usually lasts longer, stronger than the cement bag. So guys, guys, you're getting it from the engineer himself. He said the POP bag is what they use majorly because it usually lasts longer according to what he just said now but when it is when you're talking about um, using the cement bag it's not going to work because it's not like it's not going to work it will definitely work but it's not going to last as long as this one and you can't be spending so much money in doing a construction like this and then at the end you um use it for like let's say a year or so and then you start having a reason why you should do some um renovations i'm not sure that is right so if you are anything that is worth doing is worth doing best let me show you guys again look at it this is the bag i can see i know you guys can see it very well that's the bag as the bag and this is our machine this is our machine we use in draining off the water from the pond because as you are digging the borehole since the earthen pond produces its own water since the earthen pond produces its own water as you are digging it as you are digging it it's going to be producing water and you have to be draining off the water because if you are not draining off the water you will not have enough chance you don't have enough chance to do what you're supposed to do you will not have enough chance to do what you are supposed to do. So just like the engineer said, just like the engineer said, do not use the cement bags. Use the POP bag. The POP bag is usually better. 
is usually better. Better because it is stronger and it's going to last long. That's the major, that's, that's our major aim. It's not just digging the earthen pond. If you have any question, you can always drop it for me at the comment section. I am willing to answer any question you have. And please consider subscribing. It is very important because when you subscribe, you motivate me to post more videos. When you subscribe and you like and you comment, you, you, you motivate me to post more videos on this channel. That is just the, that's just the truth. You motivate me to post more videos on the, cha on the, on the channel because as it stands, I'm going to, as I'm stocking the pond, I'll be stocking the pond very, very soon as well because about three of them are ready, including this one, it's going to be four. The total pond we are going to be having on this farm, five. This part now is where we are going to be putting the fifth one and it should be ready in, let's say, a week time in a week time so i'll be stocking the pond very very soon very very soon so just consider subscribing to the channel consider consider subscribing to the channel so that whenever i post videos like this you will always be the first to get it so bye bye till we meet again